In the Old West, many newborn communities soon died to become ghosts. Settlements where the railroad forgot to stop, places where the gold ran out. And sometimes towns were buried in the dust of their own self-destruction, brought about by the human weakness of their citizens. dollar a night to stable him down. Sounds fair enough. You just uh, passing through? Well, not if there's any work to be found. You don't look like much of a cop puncher to me. Well, let's just say I've done my share. You won't find nothing here, mister. Oh, I heard they needed an extra hand out at the Clark spread. Where'd you hear that? A friend of mine, been working there a couple of months. Told me about it. I'll come back and get my saddlebags as soon as I wash down the dust. Hey. Well, this uh, friend of yours. What did you say his name was? Bond. Charlie Bond. Mike. Stable him down. I'm going to get Marshal Sully. From out of the West. Dick Powell's Zane Gray Theater. Tonight star Dick Powell. Understand you're looking for Charlie Bond. That's right. Friend of yours? Yeah. You my prison? That's my parole, Marshals. It's only three weeks old. Says here three years. It's a long time to be salted away. What'd you do? Well, a man makes mistakes. Well, Dave Cameron? They turned you loose at Yuma Prison, so you just keep right on traveling, as soon as your horse is rested. I came here looking for work, Marshal. Your jailbird friend has moved on, so you get ready to move out. Understand? Drink up, mister. Bar is closed to you. My name is Wallace. <laughs> Old Hutch Wallace. Everybody in town knows me. <laughs> I hear tell you're looking for uh, Charlie Bond, right? That's right. You know him? Sure. You know where he is? Sure. I uh, might take you to where he is, <laughs> providing you can see your way clear to buying me a. Uh, <laughs> you, know. you take me where he is, you get your drink later. Uh, now, now, you give me the money for it right now. All right. There you are. <laughs> you buy later. All right. All right. That's a deal. Come on. Well, there he is. <laughs> that is it. All that's left of him. What did happen? About, uh, let's see, Wednesday, about ten days ago. Why isn't there a marker on his grave? Folks around here didn't figure he deserved none. Now, you see, Mr. Cameron, you got to understand. He shot down Sam Clark, yes, sir. Shot him in the back. Everybody around here loved Sam Clark, respected him. They, 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 they even named this here town after him. So, so it ain't likely they're going to erect no monument to his murderer, is it? Charlie Bond was... I know, I know Charlie Bond was your friend. But you got to figure, Mr. Cameron, uh, how, how folks around here felt when they found poor Sam Clark's body laying out uh, stark dead in that back road. Found the body? Yeah. How did they know Charlie Bond shot him? <laughs> Somebody seen him. Uh, uh, that is, they seen him bending over the body. Then they seen him hop on his horse and go riding away. 
and that uh, that somebody was uh, for me. Just a minute. I don't have to answer any questions about Charlie Bond, especially to you. Charlie was good with a gun. Too good to have to shoot a man in the back. Not if you wanted to rob that man. There was an eyewitness. Any jury in the country would have convicted him. You mean to tell me that Charlie didn't have a jury trial, that he was lynched? I wasn't in town when it happened. Which made it very convenient for all concerned. Sam Clark was a fine man. And a friend. And he'd be alive today if he hadn't taken in that jailbird friend of yours. Even gave him a job. And I don't want any more of his kind hanging around this town. Now, is that clear? That letter's from Charlie Bond. Tells how much he liked Sam Clark, how much he enjoyed working for him. How Clark promised me a job and I got out. Now, I don't think Charlie killed your friend and I intend to prove it. And before you try to stop me, you read that letter. I just saw that Cameron fella heading for the cemetery. He was carrying a grave marker for Charlie Bond. Wait a moment. All right, hold on, hold on. Somebody better ride out and tell Jess Clark. Charlie Bonded. You were standing by his grave. Well, let's just say it was uh, out of curiosity. Well, it must be more than that. I saw you. Yeah, I knew him. I'm Dave Cameron. Uh, maybe Charlie mentioned me. He might have. I heard what they did to him. You shouldn't put that marker on his grave. They won't stand for that. Do you object? I don't see where it concerns me one way or another. Well, maybe not. I sure appreciate knowing who you are. What difference does it make? You better leave Clark City, Mr. Cameron. Charlie Bond is dead. And there's nothing you or I can do to change that. Name. A man's got a right to have a marker on his grave. Not the man who killed my father. Yes? Put it away. You read that letter, Marshal? That letter don't prove a thing. This marker goes back on Charlie Bond's grave, and I intend to see that it stays there. Now, I want you all to get this straight. Cameron is my responsibility. And don't any of you forget it. Are we going to let Sully get away with this? You forgetting what Sam Clark did for this town? Well, now, wait a minute, Jess. We ain't forgot your pa. Killer's grave is proof of that. And Sully ain't gonna stand for more interference. Are we gonna let Cameron walk our streets claiming Bond was innocent? Jess is right. Cameron starts anything. Sully does nothing. It'll be up to us to take care of Cameron. All right. Let's go. Cameron's trying to stir up trouble. 
We all know Bond was guilty. Well, sure he was. We had our proof. That's right. Hutch Wallace told us what he saw. Howdy, boys. Well, I hear there was some kind of a ruckus going on in here, and I... 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 Well, then. Ain't nobody gonna buy old Hutch a drink, eh? Ain't you fellas kind of forgetting what I done for this town? Huh? Like I was, well, they act like they didn't want me around. No, that's not right. Um, hearing that shot sure must have scared you, huh? Hmm. Shot? Well, the killer used a gun. You uh, passing by so close, you must have heard the shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait a minute, wait. I, 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 I got to think. I got to remember. Are you sure it was Charlie Bond you saw riding away? <sighs> Had to be him. Had to be him. Why? Cause he was a jailbird, wasn't he? <laughs> who, who, who else would have shot a nice, good man like Mr. Clark, except the doggone jailbird? The whole town figured it had to be a jailbird. But you swore you saw him. Oh. Yes, I've seen him shoot Mr. Clark. Right through the head, huh? Sure, right spang, right between the eyes. Mr. Clark's body was found with a bullet in its back, wasn't it? Well, come on out! He's drunk. That old fool didn't know what he's saying. Now, how sober was he when this town took his word about seeing Bond? Now, hold it, Cameron. You're not putting this town on trial. Well, that's more than you did for Charlie. Bond was guilty. Ain't nothing going to change that. Bond was guilty because this drunk said so. Just him, nobody else. Here's your eyewitness this town was so quick to believe. <laughs> foolish to come here. My husband will be back. Mr. Cameron, I'm Jess Clark's wife. Now, what do you want? Oh, just look around, ask some questions. You can get into serious trouble around here. I thought about that. What did you expect to find out? Well, for one thing, if any of the other hands had a grudge against Sam Clark. That doesn't mean it. The night my father-in-law was killed, Jess had all the men working night herd. They were all a good ten miles from here. Oh, then Charlie Bond was with him. No, he was sick that day. He stayed behind. And that only made it look worse for him. Mr. Clark's body was found on a road just outside town. He was on his way into town to play poker. Hmm. Do you believe Charlie killed him? Why shouldn't I, Mr. Cameron? Miss Clark. 
Charlie and I shared a cell for almost two years. You get to know a man with that kind of living. You get to know the meaning of friend. After Charlie got out, he kept in touch with me, wrote to me, visited me. Did more for me than even my own kin. I can understand how you felt about him. But I don't see where that concerns me. Oh, I think it does, more than you're willing to tell. You could have spoken up when they took Charlie away. I don't know what you're talking about. I had nothing to say. Was it easy for you just to stand there and watch them lynch him? I didn't know about the lynching. Till the next morning. When it was over. Could you have stopped the lynching, Mrs. Clark? Please, Mr. Cameron. Will you go away and leave me alone? Please go. There's been enough trouble. You get off my ranch. off my land and keep riding. Next time I see you, I'm going to kill you. I won't be hard to find. Ride into town and tell Lance to get some of the boys together. Walt and I will follow. Cameron's leaving, one way or the other. I'll be right with you. Jess, please. I can't hold still for more killing. This don't concern you, Ruth. Does anything concern me anymore, Jess? What's left for me here? There's nothing left between us. There hasn't been for a long time. You're still my wife. Nothing's going to change that. The Clarks won't let go of anything, will they? This land, this town. Not even a wife who holds no love for her husband. Two or three hours for the next stage, please, Miss Clark. Oh. Well, I'll wait here. to clear Charlie Bond with you. I don't know what you're talking about. your husband. One of us will probably be killed. Can you stand here and watch another man die just because you won't speak up? Just get on about your business. Stay out of this, Sully. I'll drop the first man that takes a step towards that hotel. What? That's going to mean anything to anybody except your name. You willing to play it that way? He's making this personal, Sully. Even you can't stop that. Yeah. All right, wait a minute. Me 
when word came from John that they found the body. Because I was afraid to speak. I, I killed an innocent man. I'm even more guilty than the rest of you. We didn't realize. We didn't know about her and Bond. Well, who did kill Sam? That's a good question. Was it you, Jackson? You, Lansing? Could have been old Hutch. Could have been any man standing next to any of you. Go ahead, Marshal. Get your killer. Just take your pick. Ah, this is going to be a great place to live in from now on. With every man knowing his next door neighbor may be a murderer. You don't know it, but this town just died. where the gold ran out. And sometimes towns were buried in the dust of their own self-destruction, brought about by the human weakness of their citizens. dollar night to stable him down. Sounds fair enough. You just uh, passing through? Well, not if there's any work to be found. You don't look like much of a cop puncher to me. Well, let's just say I've done my share. You won't find nothing here, mister. Oh, I heard they needed an extra hand out at the Clark spread. Where'd you hear that? Friend of mine, been working there a couple months. Told me about it. I'll come back and get my saddlebags as soon as I wash down the dust. Hey. Well, this uh, friend of yours. What'd you say his name was? Bond. Charlie Bond. Mike. Stable him down. I'm going to get Marshal Sully. From out of the West. Night star Dick Powell.
Understand you're looking for Charlie Bond. That's right. Friend of yours? 